Greetings, my name is Andy Carter. I'm a professional engineer out of the state of Texas. This is part two of a three-part tutorial in which we're going to take a existing ground surface and create a HECRAS model from Civil 3D. In the first part of this tutorial, we created a simple alignment and some sample lines and cut a HECRAS model. But we had some problems. The stream was downstream to upstream, flowing in that direction, and the cross sections were left to right, looking in the upstream direction. Both of these are backwards. In order to solve this problem, Hafen Associates has created a very small EXE. You can find this by googling HECRAS Flipper. Uh, what it is is a text parser that flips the erroneous file that comes out of Civil 3D. It makes the stream uh, go flow effectively from upstream to downstream and the cross sections left to right looking downstream. But what this is, what's nice about this routine is that it holds the uh, sample line stationing uh, correctly and gets the distances correct. So let's use this. I'm going to say browse and it's going to ask us to find the file that we exported in the first tutorial at Carter's Branch Geo. I'm going to say open and create revised file. And there you go. We've got a underscore mod. It's in the same directory of the file that we selected. But this is one that is corrected. It's flipped. It's got the right stationing uh, but the cross sections are in the right direction and the stream is in the appropriate direction. We'll close that. and We'll say file, new geometry data. We don't want to save the old erroneous stuff. And I'm going to put that in the same place under that HECRAS tutor. We'll call this Carter Branch Oh, let's just call it Carter Branch Mod. Seems to make sense. And we'll say File, Import, GIS Format. It's in that same place that we had the first file, but it's the one with the underscore mod. We'll say Open. And we'll pick all the defaults. And if I show you the cross sections, the cross sections are left to right looking downstream. The stream is flowing from upstream to downstream, and the station control matches the alignment and the sample line cross sections that we used from the original HECRAS file. So we've got the first part done. I'm going to save that geometry data. Let's go ahead and assign a Manning's end to all the cross sections. We'll do that under Tables, and the first one says Manning in or K values. I'm just going to highlight everything, hit the Set Values button. That's going to give a uniform value. We'll say 0 0.040 for Manning's in. We'll apply that to everything, and we'll say File. Save geometry data. In order to get a HECRAS model to run, we need a flow file. I'm going to do a steady flow. We're going to do two profiles. And I'm going to say options, edit profile names. It's always good to edit your profile names and give them a realistic name. It makes it easier for your data management later. I'm going to call that 100 year and 500 year. We'll say OK there. I'm going to set the 100 year to 2,000 cubic feet per second. This will probably come from a hydrologic study that you've done previously. We'll say apply data. The reach boundary conditions, I'm going to do a normal depth. And we're going to do a slope of half a percent, 0 0.005, for both profiles. And we'll say file, save, flow data. It's going to ask for a name. I'm just going to call it existing flow, because that's going to in indicate the existing conditions. File. Save flow data. Go ahead and close it. Now we need a plan file to get them to run. We're going to, we're going to use the Carter's Branch Mod Geometry and the existing flow steady flow file. I'm going to save the plan as existing plan. We'll say OK. The shorthand name, we'll just call existing plan as well. We'll say OK with that and we'll say compute. We've got some errors. Uh, what's happening here is that when we exported the HECRAS file from Civil 3D, we had more than 500 points per cross section. Uh, it's taking a point where everywhere the existing ground intersects a 10 triangle line, and HECRAS can only handle 500. Uh, in order to fix this, we're going to go back into the geometry file, and we're going to go under tools, and it's going to be a cross section point filter. I'm going to do this multiple locations. I'm going to select all, and I'm going to say filter to We'll say 490 points. Some of them have less and some of them have more. And it's going to filter down those three cross sections in this case that have more than 500. Actually more than 490 in this case. And we'll close that. We'll say File Save Geometry Data. 
and we'll hit this little steady state running man and we'll hit compute and there you go in a matter of minutes we have a HECRAS file that gives us a flood profile we'll take a look at that and see where we're at there's our 100 and 500 year look at the landmarks and the river stationing we note that the river stationing matches the horizontal alignment so in a matter of minutes we've cut a very simple existing hydraulic model and we've gotten a water surface profile in the next tutorial we'll take this water surface profile uh, and delineate it against the existing ground and then from that delineation we'll get that back into Civil 3D and we'll have a very basic quick existing hydraulic work map